Hey! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all tune in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. T just today, guys, we're going to be opening up this box from Army Tech. This is going to be another item I'm giving away tomorrow night from Army Tech. They sent me two flashlights it's called the Elf, and we're going to be opening that. We're going to be opening up a box sent all the way from Sandston, Virginia uh, by Aaron Williams. We're going to be opening this up. We're also going to be reviewing this tool bag, roll-up tool bag, graciously sent to me from Roaring Fire. I really love their EDC pouch, guys. It's a great EDC bag. I keep it in my Forerunner all the time. It's just got a lot of pockets, a lot of good uh, stuff in here. It, it holds a lot of items, and this does too as well, and you'll see in this video. Oh my goodness, y'all. They sent me one of those too. This is awesome. This is a... Uh, a multi-flashlight here but they sent me two elf here okay i'm gonna be giving this away i'm gonna try this out this is what you call a uh a micro usb socket the multi-flashlight here this is a surprise uh the army tech i appreciate this i really do I'm gonna be keeping this one, giving this away, and I'm gonna try this out first before I give it away, okay? Uh, I, I just wanna see what it's all about. Uh, but this one here, guys, is, is called the Elf. The Army Tech C1 Elf. It's got uh, white light. Uh, you can choose from either warm or white light. Uh, but it's, it comes with a head mount, which is included. A clip is included. Uh, a tail magnet is included. That's that's the way you charge the uh, the Pro Max Wizard 2. It's very, very strong magnet. See, that's my 722 buck right here. But, I mean, it's it's just a strong, see it right there? Strong magnet. And I'm sure that one there is just as strong. It's good to, uh, it's, it's good to stick on, uh, cars and stuff anyway it's got a, a micro usb cable and battery included it can it can stay charged up to two months it uh throws out um three meters it's got a max 1000 lumens it's a cool little light and it ain't about that big i'm fixing to show you how big it is See, there's the headband right here, guys. There's the clip. There's the USB charging port or cable. Uh, but here it is, right here. Ain't that little thing cool? And you charge it right here. That's so awesome. And Army Tech, thank you so much for sending me this. Y'all forgive my chickens, guys, I let them out to free range to get some of them green grass and weeds. You hold it down, it goes through the mode right there. See here? Pretty cool, ain't it? Oh. <laughs> but uh, it goes up to 1,000 lumens. So when you get it, whoever wins this thing, it's going to be partly unscrewed. And that's how I keep it in my sheath. Partly unscrewed because if you leave it screwed up, that little, uh, the indicator light in there will, will blink. It just let, let you know if it's charged or needs to be charged. But I just simply keep it unscrewed a quarter of a turn there. That way it, it won't just sit there and just lose the battery power. But that's, that's the way they send this one too. This is a cool little flashlight. I love that. Let's see what else it's got. It's uh, Everyday Care Light Compact Design, convenient side button, which is that right there. Special matte anti-abrasive finish with rough knurling. That's, uh, it really feels good in hand. Just wait. Strong built-in tail magnet and robust removable steel clip. So it's got a, let's see how strong this magnet is. See that? Pick it up, see that? Yeah, just cut myself on my book. 
sharp. I'm telling you, they stay sharp. It's got it's got a turbo mode. It's got a Firefly one, which is 0.11 lumens. It's got a Firefly two, which is two lumens. Main one is 40 lumens. Main two is 220 lumens. Main three is 500 lumens, which will last for one hour, 11 minutes solid. The turbo 1000 lumens will last for uh, 52 minutes, but it only stay on a thousand lumens for four minutes. It drops down to 530 lumens uh, after four minutes. That's, that's pretty good though. Real, real good guys. But it's got uh, some multicolor temperature battery level charging right here. It, it indicates right here, your convenient wide beam or fully upgraded optical system. TIR lens is protected from scratches by tempered glass and anti-reflective coating. So you can see that right there. Plus it's, it's down in that uh, hole right there. It ain't up where it can get scratched. It's kind of protected by that ring right there. But uh, it's a keychain light, compact and lightweight for even more comfortable carrying pocket hole or king or lanyard in the tail cap. So, pretty cool i gotta get a band-aid guys it's it's uh bleeding right here but you know what i got a handy bag right here that has some band-aids how convenient is this i also got some band-aids in here did not plan this guy believe me i did not cut myself intentionally Got an, an alcohol prep pad. I had to go go get some, but I forgot I put some in here. Just cleaning up my blood here. I always put two on there to to hold it. Put one around the cut and one around the, the bottom there just to hold the band-aid on there. So you got four mesh pockets up here. They're large. You got four large pockets made out of canvas. Then you got eight elastic pockets. And then you got a, a zipper, a YKK zipper pocket right here. Uh, it, you can just put so much stuff in here, guys. We'll get back to this flashlight in one second. But since I cut my finger, I wanted to go ahead and get the zipper out. It might as well go ahead and talk about this and what I have in here. I got my little black diamond flashlight here. Which, these are great to have. A little key keychain with a clip. You can clip on your backpack or wherever on your pocket on your belt uh, okay there then I got got some I got a, a Leatherman multi-tool then I got a fishing knife this pocket is empty but I cleaned this one up this is an Imperial uh, a fishing knife it's real small and I like them small and this, according to this stamp tang here, guys, that was made between 1946 and 1956. I have a video of me cleaning this one up. But then I also remember the CH3 I bought. It's little, it's got, it comes like with a clip. And uh, it's a great little knife. It's partly serrated. It's a CH3. It's uh, called a clip hanger, which this is a clip. It's a great little EDC knife. Uh, I ain't gonna go, go big into it, but it's made by Schrade in the USA. Then I have a little uh, pin here with a little, I don't forgot what you call it, but you can use this on your phone or your iPad or a touch screen. So it's pretty cool. Then I have a trusty Vic lighter. I always carry a Zippo on me, so I don't need to have one in here. Because mainly they'll evaporate. You'll forget about them. But there's my Zippo right there. Uh, but I always have a Bic in here because they last, the fluid lasts so much longer than the uh, um, the, the Zippos. The Zippo fluid will evaporate. If you put them in here, you're going to forget about them. Within three or four days, you need to refill them. I'll put more fluid in there. And you'll need it. And... Uh, You'll get to where you're going and need it. It won't have no fluid. I also have a trusty winger in here. This is partly serrated. I bought this at a pawn shop for five bucks in Pine Mountain, Georgia. Uh, it's a great little EDC knife. 
and this blade will cut you now you got to be careful the not the, this one here but but you can see it's still got the factory grease on it but look at that blade partly serrated i've never seen one like that then you got the uh then you got the uh punch blade and then of course you got your corkscrew but this is a great knife to have as an edc you got your can opener of course but this blade is sharp it will cut you quick especially the serrated part good little edc knife but then guys i have the coast flashlight i bought it walmart it's a good little flashlight it needs to be charged i see <laughs> it was about dead when i put it in here so it's 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 done died on me now but i ain't charged it in over a month and a half so it, it lasts a long time and i use it a lot and then i have some fire starter some tinder and some fat lighter i also have some magnesium uh, uh fire uh starter right here and uh so this is a uh this is a ferro rod with a uh, ferro rod with mag magnesium here that you can shave and also comes with a ma magnet um, saw blade to scrape here. See that? Good stuff. See that? But it's got a magnet right there and it just sticks right there to it. And guys, this is sold by, uh, I've had this for a long time. I've used it a few times, but this, I don't forget where I got it, but Pure Fire Tactical, that's where I got this ferro rod at, it's, it's really one of the best out there, and then, of course, I got some good old duct tape, you always need some duct tape uh, to have, just to have, you know, it, you can fix a, a, a tent with it, it's just a bunch of things you can use with duct tape which y'all know all about duct tape. And then of course, y'all seen, I got Band-Aids and, and alcohol wipes in here, just for minor cuts, emergencies like this here. It's just a boo-boo kit is all. But that's the uh, roll-up bag, guys. And also when I get it rolled up, I'll stick the more knife in here. And this also, it has a, it's called the, the Light My Fire more knife made in it's uh, made in Sweden. Uh, it's a good knife. Great knife. I have quite a few of these guys because they're so cheap. and But they're very well made. This is why it's called Light My Fire. It's got a ferro rod in the end there. And you, you can use this part of the blade right here to scrape this. See that? Very cool. But uh, it's called Light My Fire. It's a good little knife just, just to keep... You can do lots of stuff with this knife here. Lots of stuff with this knife. But once I get this rolled up, guys, I just simply use this to tighten it up, is all. Hey! Hey! y'all see that <laughs> i just saved one of my chickens guys from a hawk attack the hawk had it i don't even know which one it was it was a it was an americana hen but i don't know where she went she seemed like she was okay man i need to check her out it scared me y'all it was a hawk attack. If I wouldn't have been out here, it would have got him. I threw, <laughs> there's another there's another thing it's good for. I threw it at a hawk. Almost hit it. It got it off the chicken. <laughs> oh my God. How about that now? Man. Y'all better look out. Y'all got four roosters. They ain't even watching out for no hawk. 
Sorry, guys. I don't know what was going on there. Man. Oh, boy. How about that? Glad I was out here. Because that hawk would have got them in that pen, too, behind me. It don't matter if they were out. So, anyway, you can use this in case your chicken gets attacked by a hawk. <laughs> I sure threw it at him. It come close. Come close. But, when, guys, when I get this rolled up, I just simply put my fixed blade knife in here and put it on the, uh, the, the uh, little... Uh, canvas itself so that way it ain't it won't come out but it's water resistance on the outside of course it ain't water resistance in here guys i, I would not put this out somewhere it, it's always going to be in the truck but you can spill stuff on it and be fine but i wouldn't leave this out because simply because you cannot cover the ends it's just so many things you can use with this bag but again it's made of canvas it's wear resistant it's water resistant and it's uh, dirt durable. It, it makes it really uh, strong and, and hardy on things like throwing it at a hawk. <laughs> and it not hurt. It even can, kept my stuff in, intact, you know. So you've seen that in action. I didn't mean to cut my finger, which it was convenient to have. And I didn't plan that hawk attack, believe me. <laughs> this stuff just happened. But uh, it's a great tool bag, guys. And you can get them for 39 bucks on... Uh, on roaring fire uh but i love this bag again th this one's gonna go in my f-250 and i'm keeping this one in my forerunner and this is the uh the edc pouch uh it's a great little edc uh bag as well i have my opinel number eight with the uh spoon and scissors in here my leatherman i got my ch7 in here i got a big lighter uh i got uh a sewing kit in here just so much stuff i keep in here but i got uh also some uh paracord great little pouch guys and it's wax canvas with yk zippers as well but great little edc pouch and this is a great little edc roll-up tool bag it really is 39 bucks and i think this one is uh this is the price for this bag right here But again, why 2K zippers, wax, canvas, very wear resistant, water resistant, very durable. Uh, great little bag, guys. I'm, I really like, I really like Roaring Fire's bags. I really do. Okay, now back to this flashlight that Army Tech sent in. Great little. I'm falling in love with this thing already, but it, it come with a clip. And uh, the thing I, I like about the Pro 2 with the, the 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 thing I like about the Pro 2 Wizard is that uh, it comes like with a pouch, which I have on my side. I've been carrying this every day since I got it. But this, and it comes with a clip too, as you can see. Uh, but this also comes with a clip. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on there. But we're going to do a full review on this one. But I'm going to go ahead and give this one away. Okay, I'm going to give this one away. Here, Let's take a look at this battery here. I see it right there. Pretty cool. Let's see if we just screw it back in. These things are well made, guys. They really are. Anyway, you just put the clip in that glue groove. You just put that clip in this groove here. See, it comes with a groove. Just simply just put it in here. They're hard to get in there, but they need to be. So you can just clip that on your shirt pocket. You can even clip it on your your front of your pants here. And that way you can turn turn it on and have light. 
out in front of you if you don't have your headband and uh just a lot of different ways that you can use this guys but it's so small that's why i like it and it'll fit better in these bags and this big coasts this coast in here is uh is it, i think the coast is in here yeah coast is in here so you can put this one in here it's very small it really is but uh great lights guys i love this one i really do i've used it so much since i had it and uh very well made uh but i can't wait to give this one a try too i'll walk in the woods at night and, and show you how bright it is and everything just like i did this one here okay so i'm giving this away tomorrow night thursday night at 6 p.m so that'll be three items i'm giving away february 22nd 6 p.m going, going live, live. And then this one here, they surprised me with this one. I'm going to test this one out and give it a review on this one as well. I'm not going to open it right now, but I'm going to open it up and do a review on this thing too. At the same time, I'll give you a review on this one and this one at the same time. How about that? Okay, enough about the lights and and uh, stuff. We're going to um, move on to what Aaron Williams sent all the way from Sandston, Virginia. Aaron, I appreciate this. I really do. Okay, it says, Knife Doctor, first I'd like to say just how much I enjoy your video. I like to listen to them while driving to my job. Thank you, Aaron. Kind of like a podcast. Sorry, guys, about the roosters. Kind of like a podcast. Then I actually watch the content when I get home. I I have included a small gift just to show my appreciation. I made you a small sheath slip. Thank you so much, Aaron, for your Imperial Fish Knife. This is only my second sheath, so I'm still very much in the learning st stages. But I think it came out well and should serve you well. Thank you, Aaron. Hopefully this package finds you well. Keep up the great videos and thanks again. Aaron Williams, Richmond, Virginia. Well, Aaron, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it so much. And I'm, it, it, I, you know what they sound like to me when they start doing it? They sound like a velociraptor on Jurassic Park. I swear they do. I bet you that's where they got them sound from. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. Aaron, thank you so much. It's, I'm I'm just I'm humbled so much that people are finding my my videos uh, that they like them and, and watch them so much. But uh, I'm just in awe, guys. I really am. I just want to thank y'all so much for all the gifts, all the views, all my subscribers, and um, I'm just I'm humbled by it. I really am, and I just want to thank all y'all for thinking of me this way. So. Ooh, let's look at this right here. Oh my goodness. Dude, it's even got a little... Check that out, y'all. And check out the stitching job. It's even got a belt clip. I love this, Aaron. Dude, this is nice, man. And I think I know... I don't think it's made for this one. I think it's made for the shorter one. This is a colonial uh, fish knife here. Yeah, see here? And this is the a shorter one. And this is a shorter one, Imperial, made from 1946 and 1956. Oh, yeah. That's just right, man. That's just right for the shorter one. I love it, man. Love that. Beautiful right there. Ain't that cool? And I love that belt clip. Ain't that awesome? Awesome, guys. Awesome. Again, man, thank you so much, Aaron, for this right here. I love that dude. Love it. They even, I think I have one with a, it's not a small one though. I think I just bought one with a bell too. Uh, that had to look good in there too. Be easier to pull out, but that's pretty easy to pull out. Yeah, see that? Very cool. But thank you, Aaron. I love it, buddy. I love this. Really do. And guys, again, they're selling these uh, 722 Spitfires at Dick's Sporting Goods online for. 39.95 you can buy them right now 
And I'm telling you guys, you won't regret it. It's a perfect EDC knife, and you can see it's sharp as a razor. They come very sharp, and I maintain it sharp. Very good. Very good. And don't forget, I ordered a, a, a uh, custom one of these. This is like the third week. It's probably going to be about three or four more weeks before they have it to me. I ordered uh, three sheaths and a custom buck knife. It's got a... It's got the Coyote Brown black clip, black blade, and black in um, the liner right there. It's going to look so good. I cannot wait to get that knife back. And also, guys, I am feeling love with this knife here. It's the 112 Slim nylon handles, but it's sharp as a razor, too. I've been using it. I love that belt clip. I love that pocket clip. It's reversible here. You can put it on both sides and it's got a thumb flipper on both sides so you can wear it left or right and open it with the left hand or right hand. Great knife right there, guys. Great knife. Well, guys, I think that's everything. Um, I didn't mean to cut myself in front of y'all and I showed it mean for my chicken to get attacked by a hawk. I did stop the camera and I looked at all those uh uh looked at all those americanos i only have four of them when you get them guys they 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 lay the blue eggs but when you get them they look like little quails i swear they do they're beautiful little, little birds but they grow up to look like that one back there you see not the rhode island red but the one right behind that uh, vine right there that's a musky dying vine an old one but uh that right there is americana and I've checked them out. I didn't find no blood or, or anything. So we got there in the nick of time is all I can say. Because their talons are so sharp. And uh, I've seen them. Man, they'll rip a bird in half with them things. But we got there in the nick of time. Sure did. And thanks to the Roaring Fire tool roll-up bag. <laughs> I come close to it. But I didn't hit it. Uh, but it scared it away. Uh, thanks to my tool bag here, she's safe and sound. So, anyway, guys, thank y'all for tuning in today. And I just want to say God bless y'all. And until we meet again, guys, y'all be like a good night. Stay sharp. <laughs>